Hello everybody, this is Ty Warner with Tyka Engineering and KISSOFT Tech Support. Um, KISSOFT also is known as Gleason Works, the, uh, the great gear cutting company here in the U.S. What I want to talk about today is the, the um, load spectrum option in KISSES. Okay, so some people are calling in and they're trying to set up the the load spectrum in Kisses through a template, and I actually like doing it a different way. Well, one of the things that I'll do um, is, oops, that's not what I wanted. One of the things I'll do is first we need to run Kisses, and we're going to run this. We're going to right click, and that's the green icon, icon, and we're going to run as administrator. Okay. So now I'm running KISS 2021. I'm running this as the the administrator and I'm going to open up an example. Okay. So one of the examples I'm going to open up um, we can just grab a, an example two-stage gearbox or a one-stage even. Okay. So as I'm opening this up yep Here's a two-stage gearbox, right? We got stage one, stage two. Let's see. Uh, the kinematics calculate. It's pretty straightforward. Power comes in through the gears and out. All right. In my user interface, I have the the bearings, I have the gears, and I have uh, some face with some other information that we've put in here, the bearing types, etc. If I go into my gear pair calculation just double click that oh look at that calc start module oh that's because it was a prior model um, if I go to strength I don't have any load spectrum here okay but I want to put one in so what I'll do is I'll go up here to my database tool and I'll click on that and, I, and because I logged in as an administrator I can make changes to this database I say yes I go here to load spectra, I hit edit, and now I have all this load spectra. So here's an example one that I put in. I can edit this, I can make this 0.15, whatever I want, 0.25, I can add, or I can subtract, or I can delete all of them, right? Just like that. So I just deleted everything, I didn't really want to do that. I want four bins, 0.25. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0.25. So I have four load bins, and I'm using a torque factor. Uh, maybe this one's 0 0.75, 0 0.5, and 0.25. At my speed factors, uh, with this, maybe this is 0.25, point, um, let's see what I want here. It's one, yeah, point, uh, 0.5. Let's see, we're going to make this 0 0.75, 0 0.5. Actually, yeah, 1, 2, 3, that should be low. I'm going to make this 1. 0 0.75, 0 0.5, and 0 0.25 there. Something like this is what I think the speed would be. Right? Higher torque, lower speed, um, that sort of thing. Right? So now I can save this. I'm going to save it as example load spectrum. We say OK. We save it. Save it. All right. Great. It's been saved successfully. We close out of here. And now we come back into our, our uh, KISSES file. Now you can go up here and define a template. Or you can simply, since you have this now, you can grab this template right here. And then you can run the whole the whole calculation. So if I say OK, ah, I should probably change that. Now it's going to run this torque, uh, this this uh, load profile at these different frequencies, at these different torques and speeds, and it's going to create a report. Well, it's going to create a report, but we're going to look at it in the user interface, <clears throat> just because that's where the quickest results are going to be. So this is going to calculate. It'll take uh, less than a minute. All right. So now <clears throat> you can see that I calculated everything. Um, if 
I go into my user interface, I have updated safeties for both um, both the gearing and the bearings. All right. So my root safeties and flank safeties change, and everything is based on this load spectrum now. And if I go to my calculation modules, other than that, uh, and I go to the strength here, this is already populated for me. Okay. Now the one thing I didn't do and I should have is here in factors, this application factor really should be set to one. Ah. But I'm not going to actually set everything there. I'm going to go right here to my um, my settings. So if I double click my settings, I can go right here and I can make this 1.0 and then I'm going to connect that. Okay, And then I'm just going to go ahead and close that because I don't need to see it. Here's my bearing information. If I wanted to look at the bearing calculations more in depth, um, here's my bearing interface, my user interface. But now every one of these that I go into now, I have the nominal, I have the load um, spectrum right here, right there. And if I go into my shafts, any one of these, and I select on a gear, here's my load spectrum load spectrum. Any forces here are going to have load spectrum on it associated with it, with this calculation that I just did. Okay? So it's not too hard. It's pretty easy. That is the best way, I think, to do the load spectrums. The alternative way would be to um, I'd have to load a default template for that and do it that way. But So I, I prefer to create one, save it in the user database, and then, you, then I can use it anywhere within the software. So hopefully this is a helpful tip. Um, good luck in your gear design. Again, it's Ty Warner with Tyke Engineering and, and uh, Gleason, um, Gleason Works, uh, a company here. They're a pretty good company out in New York. And um, if you have other questions, please uh, don't don't feel free to or, or feel free to call me or email me ty.warner at kissoft.com. And we can help you with your software needs. Go ahead and uh, like and subscribe if this was helpful. And um, I'll have some more videos coming out shortly. Thanks for watching.